cuties was praised and defended by countless pundits in mass media. Here's exactly what they're praising. When the promotional poster of Cuties was released, it was met with varying degrees of shock and horror. Proudly promoted by Netflix, the image featured four 11-year-old girls in skimpy outfits, posing in all kinds of sexual positions. The fact that the word Cuties was printed in large letters underneath the picture did not help. Netflix also provided a brief summary of the movie, and it sounded like the description of a cable softcore porn movie. Amy, 11 years old, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Hoping to join them, she starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Right away, calls for the removal of this still unreleased movie garnered major support. Netflix then apologized, changed the poster, and even submitted a new description. Once the movie was released, several mass media sources immediately vehemently defended the movie, stating that the poster did not properly represent it. Others attempted to defend the movie by stating that it was created by a black female director, as if that fact changed the actual contents of the movie. Finally, in an apparently desperate attempt to defend this movie, some particularly toxic articles found a way to make this movie a liberal versus conservative issue. However, it is not. For instance, Representative Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat, published a scathing tweet denouncing the movie, even calling the movie child porn. Those defending the movie say that the critic simply did not take the time to watch the movie and understand its message. So I watched it. I shouldn't have. Nobody should. I did it because my job is to analyze popular culture. Throughout the years, I've watched my fair share of highly toxic and sickening movies and music videos, but none of them caused me to physically cringe and recoil in horror the way cuties did. At some points, I've even found myself pondering thoughts, such as humanity reached a new low, we've strayed away from God, and what is wrong with these people. The fact that this thing exists, that a bunch of people actually worked on it, that it is part of popular culture, and that it is even praised by mass media, is as alarming as it is mind-boggling. Because, for one, that first poster promoting the movie absolutely represented it. That's what the movie is about. The lewd dance scenes are the action scenes of the movie. The rest of the story consists of weak flimsy messages, meant to justify the degeneracy we see on screen. But this movie is not merely about young girls dancing. It is a crescendo of increasingly explicit scenes that appear to be specifically crafted to excite pedos. At the same time, cuties will probably be watched by young girls who might identify with and even idolize the cuties. In other words, this movie is about bridging the gap between children and child lovers. With that being said, a picture is worth a thousand words. And this movie needs to be dissected because its true nature needs to be exposed. It is about normalizing the sexualization of children, or elite secret obsession, and making it part of popular culture. So here's a look at cuties. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. Thank you. Amy is an 11-year-old girl who lives in France with her mother, an immigrant from Senegal who is also a devout Muslim. Amy does not seem to like anything about her origins. At home, Amy's family is about to be significantly altered as her father is marrying a second wife. And she'll be moving in with them. Seeing her mother in pain, Amy turns against her father. She also turns against her culture as a whole. In an attempt to rebel against her culture and its definition of womanhood, Amy goes in the opposite direction. Using this premise, Cuties goes way too far. It only takes a few minutes into the movie to go from that's an interesting premise to what in God's name am I watching. As Amy leaves her morning prayer, she sees a girl dancing to loud music. Because viewers only see her back, it is difficult to tell her age. Amy then meets the girl's friends. Hyperactive, foul-mouthed, and precocious 11-year-old girls who also form a dance group called Cuties. Amy soon gets swept up in the girls' hijinks. All of them involve some weird sexual scenarios. At one point, Amy wants to prove to the girls that she can join their dance group. So she shows off her dance moves. Later, Amy teaches the girls how to dance. A musical montage, which appears to be specifically made to excite pedos, ensues. That montage was completely unnecessary to the story. It was basically a music video, catering to the fantasies of pervs, who will probably watch it in slow motion or something. And the movie keeps giving them what they want. At one point, the girls get caught by security guards after breaking into a laser tag place. To get out of trouble, the girls start dancing suggestively. This scene has two messages. 
1. Pedos who enjoy watching sexualized children are not a big deal. 2. Acting like a stripper is a great way for young girls to get what they want and get out of trouble. That scene featuring a pedo is followed by another music video type montage. And, this time, they're looking directly at the camera. In this scene, the girls wear sexy outfits, and the camera keeps zooming on their behinds and slutty facial expressions. Once again, that scene was totally unnecessary to the story. Later, Amy gets in a fight with another girl at school, who ends up pulling down her pants and revealing her old used up panties. I bet pedos loved that scene. Then, Amy steals money from her mother and buys a bunch of underwear for herself and her friends. The movie then indulges in yet another montage. At one point, Amy steals her older cousin's cell phone. When he catches her, Amy begs him to give the phone back. When he refuses, she begins undressing. Then, she locks herself in the bathroom, takes a picture of her bare genitals, and publishes it on social media. Seeing this insanity happening, Amy's mother and grandmother start believing that she's possessed by an evil spirit. So they make Amy undergo some kind of purifying ritual, or exorcism, where they throw water at her. Well, this scene is supposed to be symbolic on some level, it ends up being about a wet Amy, engaging in devil-possessed twerking. After all of this insanity, the movie culminates with the cuties performing a dance routine at a park, in order to win a competition. For several minutes, the girls perform one suggestive move after another. At this point, Amy has an epiphany, starts crying, and runs home. In the end, we see her jumping rope with some girls, indicating that she wants to be a kid again. This scene led people to say, you see, this movie was against the sexualization of children. However, this five-minute conclusion was preceded by an hour and a half of full-on sexualization. Some might ask why I had to post so many screenshots and engage in such graphic descriptions. Well, that's because this movie is on Netflix for everyone to watch. And millions watched it. Not only that, but it is also actually being praised by mass media, and it has won prestigious awards. The aim of this video was to put on display exactly the kind of content these people are praising and defending. This is what mass media is championing right now. They're fighting tooth and nails to keep this movie on Netflix, despite massive petitions against it, and they want it to remain part of popular culture. For years, this side has been documenting the clear agenda of sexualizing children. Well, this is where we are today. Cuties represents yet another incremental step in normalizing it. Why does this agenda exist? Simply put, the occult elite is full of pedophiles. They want their lifestyle normalized. They want to see sexualized children in mass media. And, to bridge that gap, they're also encouraging children to sexualize themselves. The reward. Looking cool and gaining attention. This is what TikTok is all about. In short, Cuties is on Netflix because it caters to the elite's agenda. If it didn't, you wouldn't even know it exists. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.